A 12-year-old boy in Australia has been missing since Sunday and is feared dead after he and his friends were attacked by a crocodile while swimming. It's thought he was snatched by a four-meter saltwater crocodile. Moments earlier, it had mauled another 12-year-old boy who suffered deep bite wounds as he fought off the large reptile and managed to escape. The boy who escaped was treated and is now home with family. He and the other boys who witnessed the incident have been aiding authorities by recounting what they saw. Wildlife officials are searching the area for the missing boy and shoot to kill orders have been given for any croc bigger than 10 feet. So far, they have killed two of the animals. One officer helping in the search told the Telegraph, one 14 feet, one 15 feet. We've since had a look at both crocodiles and neither of them had anything in their stomachs. Crocodile attacks are relatively rare in Australia, but as the Independent points out, they have steadily risen over the past few decades. That's because a federal law enacted in 1971 prohibits the killing of the animal, and since then, their numbers have spiked throughout the continent. And where the attack happened in an Australian national park is one of the most densely populated crocodile habitats, and it's also a popular tourist attraction. There was an incident about a year ago where a teenager had to fight off a five-meter saltwater crocodile in the same creek. So it's uh, obviously a bit of a dangerous spot. According to the Daily Mirror, in the past year, 13 people in Australia have been killed by the reptile, including six children. Police are searching day and night and have implemented the help of helicopters to search for the missing boy. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.